Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another Lily video with me, Alex. Uh, this one's going to be a bit different, like, normally I do combo videos, and usually I just do writing on the screen, but I actually want to do a really in-depth tutorial uh, for Lily, like, I'll go, th I will go through, like, basic bread and butter combos, and, you know, kind of what to do with the wall, I guess, even though I kind of already have videos on those, I guess I can talk and explain why things work, my other things might not work. So yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so we'll start off with some punishes and pokes for her. So some good pokes are 1-2, 2-4, 4-1, 3-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4-3, 4
Um, so yeah, you're pretty good to go with that. But yeah, like I said, you can kind of just follow up with a four at four, or just dash and do one plus two. Yeah, not much you can do with that, um, unfortunately. But it does enough damage anyway. Um, so, okay, so let's move on to launches. So, she has quite a few um, launches. She also has quite a few counter hit launches, but we'll get into those after. So, her primary launches, or I'll, I'll go through all of them, but there's up forward three, her hop kick, which is 15 frame startup minus 13 on block. So, it's not launch punchable, but it's it's not safe. Um, yeah, you can just follow that up, whatever. Down forward 2, which is 16 frames startup, but it's only minus 11 on block. So it's it's only really jab punishable. Like it's, it's, it's not safe, but it's quite safe, but it's slow. So I mean, if you sidestep someone, you can do that. But I, I generally prefer to go like that. Um, her infamous Matterhorn, down 3 plus 4, which is 17 startup minus 21 on block. But you can get like anything from this. Um, but yeah, and also, I mean, it's if someone's jabbing you, you can always sidestep and then crush it because it crushes highs and some mids as well. Not all mids, but some of them. But yeah, so I mean, it's, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> but if someone's jabbing the shit out of you, you, you don't even have to sidestep. Honestly, you can just Matterhorn and go straight under their jabs. But I mean, yeah. So, then you've got her down back 4, which, okay, this is like really unsafe, like if someone blocks this, let me just <clears throat> set the AI out to block this, that is, it's minus 24 on block, and it's 30 frames startup, so it's like very seeable, so I'd only really recommend this if you're doing a mix-up, which we'll get into later, but yeah, it's, it's very unsafe, like that is... You can do anything from that. You can punish that with a Rage Art. That's how unsafe it is. Yeah, so... Um, her up 3 plus 4. Now, this is kind of weird. This will crush, like, everything. Kind of, assuming you, you time it perfectly. But you have to get a good read. Um, but it is only minus 8 on block. So it's quite safe. Um, but, yeah, you can do, like, anything after this. Yeah, but it's, it's kind of awkward doing it in Ender, so, I mean, yeah. So it's it's 36 frames on the startup, but it kind of crushes everything if you time it right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, generally you might find people, you, say you keep fighting someone and they always do this one attack at the start of the match, say they always start with a hot kick or something, you can kind of sort of get over it like that, but I mean if they start off with a jab, you're gonna get knocked into the air, but if they do, if they always start with a move that's slow enough, you might be able to get that out of it, so yeah, it's good noting, Like, but I wouldn't recommend using it too much, just something to, yeah, consider. <clears throat> she also has her while standing 2, which is the launcher, um, which we spoke about before in our, in our, um, with punishes, but um, it's yeah, 16 frame startup minus 12 on block. Um, also, this I'll, I'll go into detail about this crouch dash because we've got a quarter circle forward, which goes into her, you know, quarter circle forward moves like these quarter circle forward one two, quarter circle forward two one, quarter circle forward three plus four. Um, yeah, so. I mean, I'll go into depth about that because you can do the dash into these instead of the quarter circle forward moves. But yeah, we'll, we'll get into that soon, so don't worry about that yet. So, um, and her last launcher is back turn 1 plus 2. That is 13 frames startup and minus 10 on block. So it's, it's like sort of just reaching that unsafe territory. But yeah, it's good for mix ups. Like if, you, if you're someone who plays and does a lot of back turn lows like this, or like or like that, or like decides to do that. And but then one time you just decide to go with that, you can just dick jab them with down back one, and then while standing two, and just kind of go from there. Like one down two, two, three, four, four, three plus four. Yeah, you can just kind of get something from that. Um, okay, so that that's it for launchers. So yeah, you've got the up forward three. Uh, the down forward 2, 
the down 3 plus 4, which crushes highs and sub mids. Down back 4, which also crushes highs and sub mids. The up 3 plus 4. <clears throat> the while standing 2. I'm doing back turn from that, sorry. Oh, I just didn't want to do it. There we go. And also the back turn 1 plus 2. Yeah, that you follow with dick jab, which is down back 1. Because that's just like a crouching jab, but you've got to do it like instantly, so just do down back 1 for that. <clears throat> okay, so. Now we're going to counter hit launcher, so let me just turn counter hit on. Um, Alright, counter hit. Okay. So, okay. There's a lot of moves that I'm going to go through that I'm going to actually go through in separate parts of the video because they're good for multiple things. But down forward 3, this move is like slow as fuck. But it's it's like 20 frames on startup, but it's plus 4 on block. It's down forward 3, which you, you probably see quite a lot. That's a frame trap move, which I'll get into. Um, but yeah, on counter hit, you get a launcher from that, so you can dick jab with down back one, you can just do 4-1, so, so kind of like maybe 4-1, down 2-2-3, two, two, um, you can probably, okay, no, nope, that doesn't pick up, no, nope, that doesn't pick up, okay, so yeah, you're pretty much just stuck with dick jab or 4-1. Okay, um, next on our counter hit launches is down back 3 plus 4. You can pick up with the boss standing 2. And then just do like jab, screw, yeah, anything like that. Okay, um, that is 24 frames on startup though, and it's minus 18 on block, so it's not very safe, but it's kind of, kind of awkward, it crushes highs. Um, I'm, I don't think it crushes mids, I've ne I don't think I've ever seen it crush a mid when I've used it, but it, it does crush hunts, so yeah, if they're jabbing you, you can do that, that will count hit and you'll get something from that, which is pretty good, um, but yeah, just keep in mind that it's 24 frames on startup and minus 18 on block, so kind of use it if they're not expecting it, sometimes I like to use it when they're at the wall on the ground, like they've sort of just hit the ground, so they're not in the process of standing up. Um, that sort of, it does, it does a decent chunk of damage even out of counter hit. I think it does like 20 damage or something. Okay, anyway, so our next counter hit launcher is 15 frames on startup and minus 12 on block. This is, this is good, um, you can probably see this move a lot at the start of matches. Someone will just jump in the air and do an up four. Because usually people will come in for hit, but because it's straight up, it doesn't go forward. You'll find that kick will often catch people, but you can do like anything from it. Um, yeah, so that's just up 4. You can also do up back 4, which does the same thing, but back, to sort of to keep them out, you know? But that doesn't launch, that just hits. But if you do the up 4 and it can't hit, then yeah, um, you'll get a combo from that. Um, you get the sidestep 1 plus 2, which is 19 frames start up. It's slow, but it gets out of the way. And Lily has the best sidestep in the game. She, like, throws herself out of the way, in case you haven't noticed, so I didn't know that. And it throws herself out of the way, so definitely recommend also when playing Lily, keep in mind her sidestep is the best. Like if someone is doing something, you're pressured, they just keep hitting you and you can't get a hit in, you're just blocking constantly, just sidestep. Because she'll just throw herself out of the way. And most of the time, you will be successful, you can just sidestep and just do something like that. Or just, yeah, that, that's the launch we're talking about though now. Sidestep 1 plus 2. You can sidestep out of the way and do that if they're just constantly hitting you. You'll catch them with it. You just do like a while standing two jab down to two three. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, that is 19 frame startup. But even off counter hit, um actually I'll show you after. But it it knocks down on hit, even if it doesn't counter hit. So I mean it's still a really good move. It's just really slow, but it is only minus two on block, so. Yeah, keep that move in mind. You probably won't ever see that move very much, but it is a good move to keep in mind. And also, back turn 2, which is 14 frame startup and only minus 5 on block, it screws on counter hit, but I'd still call that a counter hit launcher. And you still get a combo from it, even if it is from a screw. <clears throat> you also might find that you might go to do this move, which is back turn 3 plus 4, 2, and they'll try to interrupt the second hit. 
So your back, your back turn two after the back turn three plus four will hit. So I mean that that does that's like one string. That's just not doing one move and then the other. That is actually like a natural string. So yeah, um, that's it for our count hit launcher. So let's let's put this back off. Okay. So I'll show you what I was talking about about the sidestep one plus two count uh, knocking down. So you just yeah, see, it does a spin. You can't you can't do anything from it. It, it pushes them too far away, so <clears throat> yeah. But on on the counter hit, when it cripples them, so you can do anything, honestly. Um, okay, so her crushes. So we've gone through a couple of these, but we'll go through more of them. So yeah, as we've said before, down back four launcher crushes highs in some mids. Um, so if someone's jabbing you highs, just just go under, just do that. Um, down three plus four, same thing, crushes highs. Um, and some it's and also this is it's her most damaging launcher. <clears throat> You'll get the most damage from combos from the Matterhorn, which is down three plus four. Her crouch dash, which I will actually get into in just a minute. This, the one that goes into the while standing, not the quarter circle forward, that will still get hit by highs. It'll get so say someone does a jab, let me let me just show you this. What what I'm talking about. So if I set Claudio to jab me. Um, let's restart. Okay. Oops. Okay, you watch. I'll do a quarter circle forward, right? So you still get still gets hit. But if you do a crouch dash, which is our dew glide into the while standing instead of a normal dew glide, which is a quarter circle forward by the way, she just goes straight under it. See, you can, you can get something from it. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I don't know what I'm trying to do, but you kind of get the point, right? Yeah. So you can you can crouch dash under that. Um, actually, I'll, I'll teach you about that now. So let's stop him from doing that. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to do this dew glide into the while standing move. So you've got the quarter circle forward, right? Which they have in her move list. Um, down the bottom somewhere. Here. So the dew glide, right? Which is down, down, forward, forward, right? And from that you can do one, two, two, one, three plus four, right? Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So, but if you don't want to do that, you want to you want to sort of glide in, but you want to do a while standing move. Don't do that last forward. Just do the down and then the down forward. So, yeah. And then you want to let go of it without accidentally hitting forward afterwards. You need to let go of the down forward at the same time as each other. But you'll get that from it. it um, I guess you just call it a crouch dash. Um, but yeah, just it's just down, down forward. And you can just you can just if you're practicing it, you don't have to do it quickly. You can you can do down and then down forward and hold the down forward and just practice that motion like that. And that's what it will look like if you don't let go. If you just keep holding the down forward, you'll just go into a crouch like that. And that's why it crushes highs. Um, so good while standing moves. Um, you got your one, two, two obviously. Uh, this this. I think is an 11 frame punch, I think. Let me just quickly find out. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So while standing four is 11 frame punish. So if you block a low, even if it's not a staggering low, just follow it with it while standing four, and that knocks down. Doesn't really do anything <sighs> on counter hit. Just knocks down as usual, just does more damage. Um, but yeah, so she also has another while standing launcher that's kind of awkward, and I mean, I like I never use it personally, but you can. It's while standing three. Just follow it with like a three two to catch and just jab screw, you know, all the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of this dew glide. Actually, I'll keep the dew glide there, um, just to, on the screen in case you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, so so you got the Duke Glide, which is that, but then the Crouch 
is just don't don't do the last forward that in of the Duke Light. Just do the first two inputs, not the third one. Okay. So let's get on to frame traps. So if you don't know what a frame trap is, um, it's basically when you do a move that has plus frames on block. So basically you have the you have the frame advantage. You can if so so if someone tries to punish you, um, so say say they block a move that you do that has plus frames on block, and then they're like, oh let's punish, so they'll try and jab you. But then you you try to jab them straight after you do that first move, you'll win because you've got the frame advantage. So if I set <clears throat> um, him to just guard. Okay, so Lily has two primary moves that are plus on block. I don't actually think she has any others, but there's quarter circle forward one plus two, so two glide one plus, uh, sorry, three plus four, not one plus two. That is plus six on block. It's 12 frames startup if you do it instantly like this, but I think it's like 22 frames if you actually do the full Jew glide like that. <clears throat> but I definitely recommend going into practice and just practicing doing this Jew glide motion really quickly so you can just pull it out like that. It's also good to do a side step and then I can follow with a jab before they can do anything. Like pretty much, her, the, this if I do this one two jab, as we know from earlier, is 10 frames starting. And that, that uh, quarter circle forward 3 plus 4 move is uh, plus 6 on block. So we have, we have what? They have 4 frames to do something. Because, wait, sorry. No, if it's plus 6 on block, we have 6 frames after we finish doing that move before they can even do anything. So if we start our 1 2 jab after that, and that's 10 frames, we six of the recovery frames for them blocking it is me starting up. So they, if they do something within the remaining four frames, they can't, no one has anything that's four frames or faster. So you win that, you win that. So even if you just do that and then do a two, four, which is also 10 frames, you'll win, you'll knock them down. And if you're at the wall, that a wall splat, you'll get something from it. Let me just show you that that ball splats. Um, so yeah, you can... Yeah, if you're at the wall and they block that quarter circle for 3 plus 4, you can just, yeah, do 2-4, wall splat, finish at the wall. Um, so if I set to guard all again, <clears throat> our other one, our other frame trap is down forward 3, It's but it's slow. Honestly, this was the counter hit launch I said I'd come back to, but this forces crouch. So, but it's plus four on block, so it's slower than that, and it's also not as safe. Like, it's still incredibly safe, it's still plus frames, but it's only minus four, as opposed to, oh sorry, plus four, as, a, as opposed to plus six. And it's also eight frames slower than this. But they'll probably freak out if you do that because it forces crouch. So you'll find that it's a good mix up for a frame trap. So I definitely recommend using that, using these two. So quarter circle forward 3 plus 4, which is 12 frame startup if you do it instantly. Uh, I think it's 22 startup if you actually do the full quarter circle forward before doing it. Um, but yeah, just practice doing that instantly like that. And also down forward 3, which is 20 frame startup and plus 4 on block. So yeah. Um, so now we're, we're going to go on to the jab reversal. So I, this is actually really good, um, but you've got to time this like, like perfect. So if I <clears throat> just set the AI to jab. Oh, okay, it's still got it there. Cool. Okay, so if I just set the AI to jab. The input for this is just back plus generic throw. So generic throw, if you don't already know, is one plus three or two plus four. Like they're, they're, they're both of the inputs. So you can do either one of those. Back plus one plus uh yeah, back plus one plus three will do will do the reversal, which looks like this. And so will back plus two plus four. They both do the exact same thing. So you gotta do that at the exact same time as a jab. 
and I'm not sure. I think it does mids as well, but it definitely does highs. Um, so if I go play. There we go. So you'll get that. That's 28 damage. See? So if someone's just jabbing you for days, you can just reverse like this. So, yeah, you get the gist of it. So that's just back plus generic throw, which is a generic throw, again, is 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 4. Which, so that that's her 1 plus 3 generic throw, and that's her 2 plus 4 generic throw. So, yeah, you got those. Um, so, let's just set him to stand. So mix-ups, mix-ups, we're getting some mix-ups now. So... Okay, so for mixed arps, I'll also remove the Jew Glide. Okay, so so for good mix ups, I mean, you can just, when you're doing your 1 2 jabs, you can do 1 2 3. Um, like, if you, like, I find sometimes if I do this, not, not like multiple times in a row, just a couple of times throughout the match, they'll expect me to do the low. So then if you do 1 2 4, They'll duck for the third one, thinking it's going to be the low, but you actually just pull out that mid and it knocks them down. Um, yeah, I don't really like to do that too much, but I mean, it's a good mix up sometimes. Um, okay, so you can also, so for our quarter circle forward one, two, which is that, you can actually hold back after doing the two. So quarter circle forward one, two, hold back, it's your back turn. So here you have a lot of options. You can do back turn down 3 plus 4, which does that. Oh, I should have done that faster. If you do a down, a back turn down 3 plus 4, you also get a free down 3 plus 4. Uh, sorry, a down 3, 4 from back turn as well. That's like guaranteed. If that first down 3 plus 4 lands from back turn, you also get the free back turn down 3, 4. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, so, you, I mean, you can do that, you can crouch to make them think you're going to do the low, and then come up with the back turn 1 plus 2, and then, you know, get your free combo. Um, you can just do that. Um, you can do her 8 frame back turn jabs, which is just back turn 1, 2. But they're highs, so, yeah. But for mix-ups, this is good. Um, also, if you do the back turn 2 at the wall, that walls flats so you've got that as well um so i mean yeah if, if you just play every time you're in back turn you just do like just a low and then you just come in one time and decide to go with that back turn one two one plus two sorry then <clears throat> pardon me then you know you're going pretty good that's um yeah good mix up okay so also um more mix-ups, so you that Lily actually has like I think two moves that will go into her Jew Glide naturally just by holding forward. So for these you've got back one forward. Um and you've also got forward forward three forward. So you you have a lot of mix-ups from these because you can actually cancel the Jew Glide into down back forward and mask that animation. So see if if I if I just stand up and do it. You see the full thing, she goes down, but you see this Jew Glide, you're going to think she's going to do like something like that, or something like that, or something like that. But, you know, I might decide, you know what, I'm going to just do a sweet one. I'm just going to confuse them, you know. I'm, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, I'm going to go, yep, no. And get them with that. Just be careful with how you use it, because as before, it is like minus 24 on block. So, the, the sweep. So just like be careful of that, but you can do this from these moves as well. So I mean, yeah, but you might decide to go, like, hey, let's do that. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go, yeah, let's do that. But then you might, yeah, decide, hey, you know what? Let's do this. They're blocking my mids. Let's go with the low. Um, you can also just go down four for a safe low. Like I, I'm, I, it's not 100% safe, but it's not launch punishable like the sweep is. So, yeah, um, also, last mix-up that I've got on me is while standing 1, 2, 4. So, 
this is a really good stream. Also, that last hit launches on counter hit, I believe. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, counter hit, counter hit. Okay, so I just go. See, so you get a free combo from that. So, yeah, let's turn the counter hit back off. So, um, if you, yeah, so if you go with the one, two, four, you know, but a lot of people will see that coming. Um, I can't often pull that third hit off unless they try to interrupt and I get the free counter hit combo. Um, so what you can do instead of that is you can go with a while standing one, two, one plus two, because I go to block that third hit, which is low, and you can get your free mid in there which is only 12 frames startup, so, you know, you get a good knockdown on that. Um, so I find that's pretty good, but if they if they start expecting you to do that, then you can go with the 4 at the end um, of the string. So yeah. Okay, so screw setups. Okay, so I got a few of these. So, so say I just do a screw, I can do my down forward 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4, then from here, I mean, I can, from here I can, I can do anything, I can do like down three. I can do a down three plus four and then follow up with a free down three, four from back turn. Um, and the other one was from back turn as well. Um, or, I mean, I can, I can go here do a little crouch, you think I'm going to do a low, but then actually do a back turn 1 plus 2 launcher. But they probably won't go back like that, most people don't get up backwards like that. So yeah, you'll probably get a free combo from that. So yeah, um, okay, what else have we got? Okay, so, I mean, if we go... You can do a back turn as well from the while standing too, just by holding back, um, and I mean from that you can do, wait, wait, let me just do the screw, because this is a screw setup, so if I go back like that, I can go with that, or I could go with like that, um, so I mean there's a lot of options from that, um, okay, so if I go a screw, forward, forward, three, forward, cancel, and then you can sort of do anything from that. Like maybe even just go with a really basic forward, forward, four, which can also go into back turn by holding back, by the way. Um, I'll actually go into more detail about those in a minute, the ones that can go in, the moves that can go into back turn by holding back. But I'll just do these screw setups first, and then I'll do that. So yeah, also, as for the forward, forward, three, forward, cancel. So if you do this move, this forward, forward, three, forward that we were talking about before, or even the back one forward that we were talking about before, you can cancel that into doing a normal move. So if I do forward, forward, three, forward, one, she'll do that, which, which would go into that if I did two at the end. But if I want to do just normal one, two, I can go forward, forward, three, forward, tap up. Like do, do like a little sidestep and then just hit. Like, like so, yeah? So you just, you just tap up, so I can just go, yeah, 4, four, three, four cancel, 1, 2, see, like that, pretty straightforward. Um, and I mean, that's really handy in, in some combos as well, you'll find, like, uh, let's try this, see, like that, um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do from that. Um, so what else have we got from that screw? Um, also one more screw setup. So if I screw, the thing with this one, um, they have to stand up. They have to tech roll or stand up. See, so I'll, I'll show you from different positions. So if they stand up backwards, like like this, like the AI will, nothing's gonna happen. See, that will completely miss. But that isn't unblockable. That is forward, forward, one plus two. But you've got to hold one plus two. You can just do one. Um, Forward, forward, one plus two, and it will do that, but it's not an unblockable. You can even hold it a little bit like that, but you've got to actually hold it. 
and let it go all the way out to be unblockable like this. So, yeah. Um, but if they tech roll or they stand up, that will hit. Um, it hits mid, so if they're, if, if they're standing up or crouching at all, um, it will hit them. They just can't be on the ground because it hits mid, so it will hit highs. Like, it hits high and mid, I guess, because it's a mid, so, yeah. Um, they, they can't block it at all, but the thing is, it's very linear, so don't just, like, throw it out. I only really use it as a screw setup, and I don't like to use it too many times against the same person, because then it's kind of predictable. Um, but, yeah. So, if I set side roll, whatever... Watch this. Oh, oh no, okay. Wait. No. Hang on, wait. How can I... Okay, apparently you can't set it to tech roll. Can I just make him stand up? Like, just stand straight up? But yeah, you kind of get the hint, right? So... See? They stand up, they get hit. It happens if they tech roll as well. If they try to tech roll out of it. So, like, if they tech roll... If they're, like, mashing buttons when they're in the air, so when you do the screw, as soon as they're able to, they tech roll out, and you just catch them with that. But yeah, don't use it too much. Okay. So I was going to talk about moves that go into back turn quickly for you guys. So... Um, she has a few of these. Pretty much you just do the move and you hold back and she'll go into back turn. So you've got the down toward 2, hold back, she'll go into back turn, yeah. You've got while standing 2, hold back, goes into back turn, yep. Yeah. You've also got um, uh, back 2-1 into back turn. So you might, you might see a lot of high level players do back 2-1 back turn 1 plus 2. And Dick Jack, yeah, but usually, usually hits. But yeah, apparently, Demonic. There we go. See, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I think that's that's pretty much it for back turn from moves. Yeah, just down toward two back, while standing two back, and back two one back. I can't think of any others. Um, oh yeah, and the quarter circle forward, one, two, back. She'll cancel that second hit and go back, but you have to do the two. If you just do quarter circle forward, one, back, she'll just do that. You need to actually do the two and then back. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on to the power crush. So as always with power crushes, um, if, you don't, if you don't know what a power crush is, goes through moves, that's pretty much the only way to really explain it. Um, yeah, um, as always with power crushes though, you can get kicked out of it, or just hit out of it with a low attack, um, but Lily's is a launcher, so it's unique, um, it's forward forward to <clears throat> see the white stuff around her, power crush, yep, you can just dig jab if you want. Um, you can also just do 4-1 and down 2-2-3 two, two, and do whatever you want. Um, uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll find that it will go through a lot of stuff, it just won't go through loads. I don't think any power crush in this game goes through loads. Um, but, yeah, so let me just set the um, the AI up to like do something. Where's his hop kick? Where's his hop kick? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so up forward four. Where's up forward four? There. Wait, what?
Okay, but because he's in the air. Okay, let's maybe not do that move. Um. Let's just go with that. See, goes goes right through it. So yeah, you get a lot of variety um, with her power crush because it is a launcher. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot from that. Um, but you just gotta be careful not to throw it out too much. It is unsafe. Um, I believe it is like minus 14 on block. Um, it is actually it is actually minus 17 on block. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't just throw that out <laughs> randomly. Um, more use it if you know someone's coming in and they're just like spamming constantly, like spamming highs and mids. Just like get them with that, that'll go straight through their shit. Um, but yeah, it is also 18 frame startup, so it's quite slow, but the thing is it's a power crush, so you're, you're fine. Um, okay, so there's only really a few more things I want to get to here. So, um, so now we'll go on to her Rage Drive. Um, so her Rage Drive is a screw on its own. Um, so the input for this is, just let me turn Rage on, down forward 3 plus 4. So yeah, our normal handspring move. So down forward 3 plus 4, 3. But that's a screw, and you can do another screw after it as well. So, so yeah, you can do it in the middle of a combo if you really want to. Um, so, let's see. Um, see, so you can kind of. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know why that didn't catch, but you, you get the gist, right? Like, yeah. So you can use that as a second screw. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can use it to start. It also, because her down forward 3 plus 4 has amazing range like that, you can pretty much do it. Not from full screen, but from like maybe back here. Yeah, like it, it has incredible range. Like if someone's sort of like trying to get in, but they're sort of sort of staying about this distance, you can just get them with that. And I mean, yeah, pretty much ca catch a lot of people off guard. A lot of people will try to interrupt after the the initial move like that. I try to interrupt that, and then you catch them with that. If the first one whips, but because that's so fast, um, it, it generally catches people. Unless they jab. Um, okay, there's not much more to say about that, so her Rage Art. Her Rage Art crushes all lows. Um, as any other Rage Art does, it has armor, but it crushes lows. So if someone's doing a low, you can just go straight over it. So, what's, what's a low that he has? Um, what's that? Okay. You watch, this will not touch me. Oh no, I did it too late, okay. So you watch this. Okay, no, he didn't even get to execute, I'm trying to show what I mean. But that's, that's another problem, she'll go over sometimes. I did that too late. But that's the biggest problem. She will often go over if they go down too low, doing something like that. So you just got to be very careful with it. But it's something that you can do very easily in combos because it has a decent amount of range. Like I can probably do it from here, maybe. Yeah. So it has good range. It has really good range. Um, just like her rage drive. So I mean, you can pretty much do this from like any anything. Like, you can do it from a combo, 
not if people are attacking you, but you don't have to be right near them. Like, let me just show you an example. So if I go to the wall and I go switch positions on. Okay, so if I... Oh wait, it's resetting. Okay. Alright, so if I go... Watch this range. So I mean, you can like do it from like anything, really. Like, you'd be surprised how much range it actually has. Um, so yeah, I, I moved back for that just to show you. See, it still lands. Um, so, so yeah, her rage art and rage drive have very good range. Um, so, like, like yeah. Um, okay, so I'll show you guys some some like basic combo stuff. Um, I mean, I already have combo videos, so I'm not going to show you guys like too much stuff. Um, I'm just gonna ah. Crap, sorry. <laughs> Get out of that. Um, so I'll just show you guys some stuff. I'm going to show you rage combos because I mean, just, th those are easy. Just throw in a rage up randomly. So I mean, okay, so if I do down, down 3 plus 4, up 3, 3, forward, 3 plus 4, and then forward, forward, 3 plus 4, and that, that's basic one. Uh, down forward, 2, 1, 2, 1, down 2, 2, 3. No, that missed. <laughs> Down forward two, one two, one down two, two, three, dash in down forward three plus four, three plus four. Got that. Uh down plus, uh sorry, down forward three plus four, back turn one two, one, down two, two, three. While standing one two, one plus two would normally work, but apparently not. Okay. So if we if we want a good while standing two combo, we can do back turn up back turn up forward three. One two down two two three while standing one two one plus two that's if we're at the wall if you're at the wall i should probably specify this um if you're at the wall your best bet is going to be a while standing one plus uh one two one plus two that's going to be your best bet if they're if they're on the wall like that that's going to be your best bet um you used to be able to do four one one plus two Oh no, okay, well, but you can't really do it as much anymore, like, um, let me just try and show you what I mean, you used to be able to do it, oh no, okay, well, I, the other day I could not do it at all, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's two highs, whereas this is two, this is a mid and then a high, so the mid will catch them. Even if they're, even if they're quite low, like that. Um, so, so yeah. The basic combos. I mean, you can just do like a launcher, like any launcher. Just go one, two, one, down two, two, three, forward, forward, three plus four. Um, you can go forward, forward, three, forward, one, two. Um, but yeah, if you're going to do a Matterhorn, the easiest thing to do is just up 3-3, three, three, forward, 3 plus 4. That's like the easiest thing to do, and it does so much damage. Like, that does 55 on its own. Like, if I... If I do this... Oops, sorry guys. Okay, so if I do this, maybe I can get... No, I wanted to cancel and try and get into the wall. To show you how much damage I can get just from this. Okay, I did that too late. See, I mean, that's like over 70 damage from like a ridiculously easy ass combo. Like that's just down 3 plus 4, up 3, 3, 4, 3 plus 4. Uh, forward, forward, 3, forward, cancel, 1, 2. And then just while standing one, two, one plus two. But yeah, if you're not at the wall, 
I'd recommend just after the screw, just end with a down forward 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4, uh, forward forward 3, forward 1, 2. Um, or if you really want to okey good, just forward forward 4. Oh, sorry, you can also do forward forward 4 into back turn um, by holding back. That's a good load that people like to use. Um, it is. Let me just see. So the forward forward plus four is 22 frames star, but it's minus 12 on block. So I mean it's jab punishable, but that's that's about it. That's all they're really going to get from that. Um, but on counter hit, if you do back turn, you get a free back turn one two. That's that's guaranteed. That is completely guaranteed. Back turn one two which is 48 damage if that counter hits. You can't get anything else from it, but because it's minor, it's, sorry, not minus, it's plus nine on counter hit. So, and those back turn one, two jabs are um, eight frames start up. So you sort of like just get them in, you're like just guaranteed to get them. <clears throat> um, but, but yeah. Um, I think that's, that, that's pretty much everything, um, I mean, yeah, so pretty much if you, if you have like any questions, like feel, feel free to like comment and um, like ask any questions that you might have about the video or might need like help with other things regarding Lily, um, feel free, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful at all, feel free to leave a like and maybe a subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I make Lily videos a lot, so um, feel free to go check those out if you, if you haven't seen them already. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.